Meanwhile... Well, so much for hoping Sybil was having better luck than we were. And meanwhile, because the first one was oh so fun, let's have another area of sewer tunnels. Yes, once more the radio does not work. The map at least is somewhat more useful. Okay, we are here. Want to get behind me, Mr. Camera? Thank you. Okay, one hanged scratcher over there. And down, boy! I don't know if it ever actually lets you stomp these things. But, it seems to be dead enough anyway. And I'm just going to run because there's one that's up there trying to impale me from above. And I missed my exit. Yeah, the sewer tunnel areas really ramp up the paranoia, they do. All right. The creepy music doesn't help, nor does a uh, shock sound that comes out eventually. Oh, look! Claw fingers, for real this time. Ow, 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 ow. Too many things, too many things. Yes, this is the part of the sewer we like to call All Hell Breaks Loose. Shock noise coming soon. There it is. Ow, ow, whoa. Oh, dear. Ow. All right. Die. Now get out of my way. So, here we are with a creepy area of the sewer with carousel horses. I think we've reached the amusement park. Yeesh. Thankfully, that's the last sewer area. Believe it or not, this is the amusement park. And we do not have a map of this area. The radio almost constantly buzzes here, but most of what it's picking up are uh, larval stalkers. There are, however, a few mumblers in the area, too. Like right here. But we have range to deal with you now. Boot to the head! Yeah, finding your way around here, basically, good luck. Also, severe polygonal slowdown due to the amusement park rides. There's nothing you can really do with them, though. They're just there to be kind of trippy and ironically happy, I suppose. Oh, hi there. You done? Yeah, you're done. We can't even get into that little control building there. Get around the light post, thank you. Our primary goal is around here somewhere. At any rate, I'm fairly sure it is.
Oh, come on. I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, I hate this place. Seriously, would it have killed them to give me a map? Okay, that's what I was looking for. A save point. Refreshing pause. Definitely. Now that we're done with all that nightmare. Right, this is a good place to wait for a moment. Back in a few seconds. Okay, so with that, all that's left for us to do is find a specific attraction here in this mess of an amusement park. And there it is. We just have to climb up the stairs and get onto the merry-go-round. Oh, we found Sybil. Oh, and she's fine. But, uh, what's with the deadly red eyes? Oh, this doesn't look good. No, not good at all. But here's the thing, though. You don't really have to do much in this fight. Just get close to her and you can use the unknown liquid on her. That makes this fight go a lot faster. I'm going to talk more about this once all these story elements wear off. There you go, Harry. Stomp that slug. Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. Now, there's some key story elements here, so I'm going to shut up and let them talk. Harry. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. So thus we find out that Cheryl isn't really Harry's daughter, but he feels like she truly is, and he's a good father in that case. I mean, he's gone through all this for her, after all. <laughs> 